What up, everyone? We're back. I can't remember what I was about to say. I'm very tired. We're back with Valkyria Chronicles, Chapter 9, A Midsummer Incident. Now, first off, as usual, we're going straight back to the headquarters. See what we get. So, where are we? Squad barracks. We got a new weapon last time, so we check it out. I think it was a sniper rifle? It was. It's very damaging, but... I don't justify it for the for the range. Now let me do something real quick. I forgot to turn my phone on silent. I don't want that going off during this. So command room. We'll see who we get. Hello, well. Extra. I don't know. Quite. I don't remember Carl. He's got nothing good. And who's the other one? He is a good sniper. Let me see. Hmm. Yeah. We get rid of Oscar. I'll miss the squad, Welkin. Feel free to call on me anytime. Because the two of them are... The two of them are metalbred. So now at least we have... Uh, what do we call them? A desert bread. My name is Cesare Regard. And I'll handle things my own way, thank you. And we have a meadow bread and a desert bread. Come back any. So that's good. That's good. Training field. Let's see what we can Welcome level up. Train all you want. Okay, so scout. Oh wow, this is bad on XP. Okay, we can level up one thing. I'm gonna go with scout just for the sake of it. I got no. Good work. All right, no. Come back any time. No potential or order or anything like that. Doesn't really matter. Well. And probably no upgrade. No. no upgrade. Yes. Here we. Notice we don't have the upgrade here. We only have firepower and additional effect. Think about it. Makes you wonder what that is. Well, we're gonna go with firepower. Because it's when you think about it, the shock trooper is a it's a firepower unit. You want to get in and wreck everything. So firepower again. Yeah, that's a good boost to armor. Don't know what set the other for one you. is, but it's kind of relevant now. What we want here, okay. What we are going to do is we're going to get accuracy for the simple reason. <laughs> it's done. Is with the sniper rifles, we're going to get headshots as it is. So what we want to do is maximize our headshot, not just not just the damage. I mean, you can do a billion hit points of damage in one hit with a headshot, but if you don't land that headshot, no, it's forget about it. A sniper rifle is one shot per turn, so it's definitely the way to go. Now let's see what else we have here. Nothing there. I should probably start upgrading some of these just for the sake of it, but... Oh, wait a minute. Never mind. This is what we, we're going to want. All set. Okay, so I'm going to need to change something. Okay. Um, spare belt. Rear magazine. Okay, that's good. That's good. Uh, see what else we have here. Hmm. It's funny because I never really take any damage in the treads. And they never get behind me for a crit, so I don't really I don't really upgrade them. Come back again! Let's see what she has for us in Castle Front Street. Oh, I. C yeah, we know. So okay, nothing good. C uh, our experience is pretty low, so we're gonna skip the cemetery again. So, first cutscene: the Midsummer Night in or a Midsummer Night incident. The invitation.
Welkin Gunther reporting, Captain. So what is it an invitation to? Hey. Oh, didn't mean to press You got that. called in too, Faldio? I apologize for calling the two of you in on an off-duty day. Princess Cordelia has graciously extended banquet invitations to the three of us. Excellent. What? Unexpected, but, but why us? It seems you two will be recognized for your successes at Vassal and more recent ops. Nice one. The event will be held tomorrow at the castle. Oh. I'm not really good with the formal stuff. What are you, crazy? Do you have any clue how rare a chance to meet the princess is? They say that House Rangris, the Archdukes of Gallia, are descended from the Valkyra. We could be meeting a descendant of a Valkyra. If that's she true, what she could Princess do. Cordelia herself is a Valkyria, and we get an audience with her. Naturally, he wants well, in on it yeah, for I guess. historical aspects. Just don't forget to wear dress uniforms, gentlemen. I'll meet you both at Castle Randgrees tomorrow evening. You're dismissed until then. Yeah. So much for my plans to go bird watching tomorrow. We also get to see what uh, their dress uniforms look like. Compared to just the regular uniforms. So this one is a bonus episode. Castle Rangrees. So they're already here. There's Captain. I Rob. hope they don't mess this up. Sorry to keep you, Captain. Goodness, Welkin, I hardly recognized you. Yes, Captain. Alicia helped me get ready this evening. <laughs> yes, like most... Well, I was going to say men, but like most boys that age, we were terrible at getting ready back then. She kept punching me when I told her she couldn't come with me. I'm still sore. <laughs> well, consider it combat experience. Good old combat experience. Here's Folio. Wow, Welkin. No grass stains or anything. Very funny, Faldio. Nice hat, by the way. Yeah, I never did like the look of these ugly things. I've been boycotting them. Hey, don't you all How look nice. How did she get in here? Good evening, Miss Ellet. Here to cover the banquet tonight? You know it. Apparently, an ambassador from the Federation has been invited to the party. Reporter. I smell a plan to sign up an alliance between Gallia and the Federation at work here. But Gallia's national policy has always been to shun alliances and remain neutral. I figure it's mostly the idea of Prime Minister Borg, Princess Cordelia's regent. The Borg. Resistance is futile. He's using her youth as carte blanche to do whatever he and the other nobles want. With all due respect, the princess isn't much more than a mouthpiece for his policies now. Ugh. We're about to attend a banquet, and now I've gone and lost my appetite. Yeah, you'll be fine, Falio. It's about time to enter. Let's go. So, here we go. Let's see what this actual audience is going to be like. Far from the battlefield. Quite the throne room. Your Highness, thank you for your presence on this occasion. Might you grace this assemblage with a word? Honored ladies and gentlemen, if I may, I appear before you today at the peak of joy. For now, two great powers join together Gallia and the Federation pledge their allegiance as we seek to build together an eternal peace for Europa. Know this. The honor of dear Gallia, in fact her very freedom, is currently under attack and hangs by the thinnest thread you can imagine. But, while Princess Cordelia remains on the throne, she who is the scion of the Valkyra's ancient blood promise, no force on this earth will ever see this nation defeated. Is that not so, Princess? Her scepter looks yes. a lot like a. I draw strength from the Valkyrian Lance. bloodline, and my heart is a repository of justice. Come 
golf cap. I am nearly at a loss for words. The privilege of brokering peace with you, your highness, has been the greatest honor of my life, and I thank you for it. With bountiful stores of Ragnite, and your strategic position between East and West, you've become the foundation of Europa. In this time of peril, the Foundation is grateful and happily joins hands in crushing the Imperial threat before us. <laughs> they just want to be sure they're the ones who control us when this is over. Make no mistake, the Federation would conquer Europa the same as the Empire. This is stupid. It is hard to accept what he's saying. As long as we fight as one, the Empire's forces will never be a danger. We shall topple the Empire and rid the world of their threat. It's pretty and weird then situation, we shall unify it? Europa and govern under our great banners. All of Europa? Well, there's something we haven't heard so before. It's basically just the, the Empire in reverse. We're not fighting this war so we can invade another country. Absolutely. All we want is to keep our homes and our families safe. See? Now, my friend, let us put an end to all these formalities and raise a glass to honor this historic alliance. Yes, a toast to the shining future that awaits. Cheers! Cheers! <sighs> Where are you going? I've got a bad taste in my mouth. This is garbage. I'm out of here. Father I'm going home, Welkin. See ya. Valdio. So, interesting, interesting stuff. Let's see what the next cutscene has to hold for us. The Valkyrian bloodline. <sighs> I'm glad that's over. We should be heading back soon. I believe the exit was this way. Oh. Quite a person to bump into. Princess Cordelia! I, I'm so terribly sorry. Are you all right, Your Highness? I am unharmed. I cannot begin to apologize. Please forgive my clumsiness. Do not trouble yourself. I bid you a safe return and a good night. Your Highness. Are you really in support of an alliance with the Federation? Lieutenant Gunther, have you lost your mind? Please forgive me. At least I'm aware that what I'm mind. saying may be out of line. Instead of just sitting there and taking it. But I... Seeing you tonight, I got the feeling that your opinion is being ignored. I am still young. All political matters are handled by my regent. That's or, not a promise and answer. The protection of Galia and of the Valkyrian bloodline is my fated onus. Their protection does not require my personal feelings. I need only live by the laws set forth by those who come before me. I bid you once more, good night. So that's basically a yes, that she doesn't agree. Your Highness. Do you copy? It's me. The mark is alone. Your now is our chance. Like, like Steve Bloom as well. You know the plan. Have the armored car on standby. Once I have the mark, I'll be there. I'm usually pretty good with picking out his voice as my favorite voice actor. My favorite male voice actor, I should say. Well, I'll leave you here. Good night, Wilkin. Good night, Captain. W wait! Hold it, Verat! Verat! Terrible news. General Damon, what's the problem? P Princess Cordelia's been kidnapped. Kidnapped? It can't be. Yes, it was that Federation ambassador. He was a spy all along. So the Federation takes her under their protection and Galia along with her. How convenient. Typical, considering the sorts of backroom dealings and extortion they've used till now. So get on it! Verat, you've got to get her back! Understood. 
Lieutenant, gather your squad immediately. Yes, Captain. We got this. So let's see. Dreams of the Sky. Nice little bonus feature before we get going. Hey, Casey, what is that thing? It's an airplane. The first test flight succeeded during EW-1. Now research is going on all over the world. Whoa, so this is what one of those things looks like. Man, I want up in one. Good old Leon, every optimist. Oh, hello, Leon. Chris? Hey, Sara, you got the day off. What are you hanging around here for? Wait, let me guess. Are you building this airplane, Isara? Yes. There's still a ways to go before it's complete, but the basic construction is done. Leave it to you, Isara. You learned all this on your own? Yeah, I just imagine that. I'm working crazy. from documents my father collected before his death. That's amazing. I'm so impressed. So where are you flying to once it's all done? Going on a trans tour, maybe? First, I'd like to take my brother up in it. Once, when we were young, he and I were out bird watching when he mentioned it. Typical Welkin. Wanted to fly like a bird. That he wished he could fly like they did. Exactly. That's my goal. I've been pursuing this project bit by bit in my free time. Oh, that's real sweet! Hey, Sara, can I ask you a favor? Please, let me help you build your airplane. What? I want to become an engineer of your caliber someday, Isara. I feel like watching you Chris work would help me learn a great deal. Please, Isara. Oh, yeah, that's true. Hey, then can I help out too? Come yeah, on. Le Leon's just Leon. They're, they're a team. Wherever KSC goes, Leon goes. You don't mind? Of course not. I may not look bright, but I've been working my butt off in R&D for a while. Of course. Well, thank you both. All right! I would say good stuff, but that's, there's an alarm. That's the emergency siren. What's happening at this hour? Let's ready the Edelweiss. I'm sure that whatever it is, it's urgent. Absolutely. I'll help you prep it. Well, we already know what that is. So, here we are to combat kidnapping of Cordelia. We have an emergency on our hands. Princess Cordelia has been kidnapped by Federation operatives. So, let's see, we're in a town of some sort. The armored vehicle carrying the princess is headed for the port at the southern end of the combat area. Spread out your soldiers and stop that vehicle. Your objective is to disable the vehicle's engine and rescue Princess Cordelia. Use, use rifles and machine guns to strike the vehicle's weak point to bring it to a stop. Explosive weapons like tank cannons and lance tank cannons, lances and grenades are off limits. They risk the risk to the princess is too great. Letting that car reach either of the two points will mean allowing their escape. We cannot let that happen. We've also got word that Federation Special Forces have been sighted in the area. They'll be protecting the vehicle. They may be wearing galleon uniforms, but they're real feds. <laughs> feds. Uh, don't think twice about pulling those triggers. It's a dark night out there, you won't be able to stay on you won't be able to get a visual on enemies past a certain distance, so stay sharp. Okay, so we got a lot to spread out here, and we're limited to six units as opposed to nine. So, let's see what we have. Do we have a good... No, we don't. They're all... Okay, let me see. What do we want? Desert allergy. Hmm... Rosie will do. As will... Hmm. As will Alicia. And... Let's see, what else do we want? We'll take one of those and... City kid, she fits in perfectly. And the last one we need is one more. 
gonna go with Vice. Because we don't need Your a, mission is to rescue oh, Her Highness unharmed. Failure isn't an option on this one, soldiers. But yeah, we don't need a, a Lancer. Because we can't use that to take it out. They can't get to the harbor. We stop them here. Squad 7, move out. To the harbor, full steam. The ship's waiting there to take us out of Gallia. Apologies for the cramped quarters, your highness. We'll have you comfortable soon. <sighs> Lieutenant, it's likely the ambassador has the princess with him inside that armored vehicle. Use firearms to stop it with minimal force, then recover the princess. Don't lose them. Tank shells, anti-tank lances, and grenades are off-limits. You could harm stuff. the princess. Understood, Captain. Welks, even if we can't attack with it, the Edelweiss can still block their path. Yeah, on a narrow road like this. Crap, Sounds like a plan. Out. Let's get the princess back safe. Anyway, she was saying a narrow, on narrow roads like this, the transport can't slip past the tank. So... But we don't even get the first go. So since we know it moved, though, here we go. What we want to do right off the bat. So there's our. Welks, do you see the vehicle's headlights? You're right. We can use those lights to tell its position and orientation. So you can tell which way it's trying to go. Now we can't fit through there. We, Watch that your we back already up know there. from our command map. But we know it's trying to move down this way. All units hurry! Don't let them get away! Don't leave cover without good reason! I wonder. No, it'll hit a wall. Yeah. Either way, we have a block. That's the important thing. My turn, okay? Now let's get let's get going looking around. Pry the way open by force. It's too dark, I can't Enemy see Enemy unit spotted! Whoa, they're on the roof. Okay, let's go. This guy's a sniper, not for long though. Now And he's down. So what do we have? Two more left? Yeah. I'll take care of it. We're gonna get some movement going on. Hopefully Vice can Okay, he's fine for the moment. So what we need to do I'm on it. is we need to get Rosie moving up here. Enemy sighted! So who's she gonna take out first? She's gonna take out the scout. Here I come. Mwah. Just keep up this pace. And we get her into some cover. Because if that lancer runs down this way, she, she it'll just get caught and destroyed by by her. So enemy phase. Let's see what we got here. What are you doing? Don't stop. Go. Go. Golly and tank, sighted ahead, sir. It's blocking the road completely. Clever little monkeys. Very well. We'll take another route. Okay, so we've forced them. That tank, that's a militia model. Going pretty well that we've got a we've got a force that way. So there's actually a couple of units out there. Like look at this guy, he's throwing a grenade at us. Minor damage sustained. Didn't do much, but... Now this guy might... No, he didn't get the attack off. Here we go! So let's see how we're gonna do this. Take a quick look. Hmm. 
We kill an answer. Enemy unit neutralized. I see Gallians headed your way. Be careful. Just in case the the other Lancer, who I don't think is actually still there, but it's better safe than sorry. I'll try my best. So we're going to get Claudia to move up this way. She'll be able to support the tank. We want to get her a little bit closer. And at the same time, she can probably do something about this guy. Well, don't fail me now. Or maybe she can't. Oh, she got crit. That's bad. Ready and waiting for your command. Okay. On an unrelated note, I love the name Claudia. I don't know why. I'll it's, take care it of sounds it. Sounds great. Okay, he's pretty much good there. Hmm. It's gonna be risky. Roger. But do I feel a hit coming? Never again. There we go. Kept her safe at least. I'm not done yet. Just keep up this pace. Even had the accuracy bonus. Look at the Irish. We're just the best. We just stop everything. So enemy fails. Let's see. Hopefully the tank is in the place to block it off. Uh, blocked yeah, in again. It. They're testing my patience. Incoming relay, sir. The tank in our way has been identified as Militia Squad 7. <sighs> the ones who attended the banquet. Just our luck to be spotted by glory hounds. Squad 7. Or maybe not. That officer from the banquet? Mr. Ambassador, Allied units have reached their station, sir. <laughs> you don't get to be my age without learning to plan for contingencies. Oh, it looks like they've got some backup. Damn, they had backup waiting in the wings. Keep an eye on enemy positions when moving, Sevens. Okay, let's see what we can pull off here. First here we go! First, it's Edelweiss time. This one mainly because it's gonna take so much AP to move. There! It's going that way! Don't lose it! Hit it hard and fast! Come on. Okay. I want to park now, here. Now, attack the, the vehicle! see what we can get with bodies. I'll take care of it okay well there's the the watch we call it the transport. don't come out of cover until you have to I'm on it new target sighted ooh that's not good I'm gonna leave her there for a moment I'll, I'll be able to get her to sneak up behind it I think Try my best. So let's see if we can get this. I'm gonna try and make a run to heal the tank and then get back to No, too close, too far. Probably not Thank gonna be you. enough. I can't believe they took the princess. Oh yeah, made it. Brilliant. Instead of Ica down the not a why do I keep calling her Ica? I know Ica is best girl, but still. Ah, oh, look at them, they're coming from down here now. It's a good thing Alicia is down there. I can actually send her down that way. Unfortunately I can't send Vice, but. Look at this. 
Well, if he walks up there anyway, he's doomed. That tank will just destroy him. So let me let's do this thing. See what I have here. Go down. Not much, unfortunately, but it, it could just be because I'm a little far away. Let's do this Let's thing. Let's try again. Just try dodging me. Not that it can dodge me. <laughs> Y'all still with me, soldier? Okay, that's decent. That's decent. And we got him. We got a. We're back in cover. So what I am going to need to do. My turn. Okay. Don't even think of dodging. Oh, lovely. Now! These pants are Try to get in front of it and shot. block its path. <laughs> Enemy unit neutralized. Enemy sighted. So that's a shock trooper. We know he's there. Moving out. No, stop. There we go. Okay. Let's hope this hits. Three hits. Now. Boom. <laughs> Blam. Said nice the work. Keep taking them down. You know, I'm going to run out a little bit. Get in front of it and block the road. Try to keep an eye on your teammates' positions. I was just kind of hoping... No, don't, don't aim that way. I was just kind of hoping we could get out there and it, once we get to the crossroads, she could, like, see someone in the distance, but... No, it's not happening. Hmm. We have one more go. Leave it all to me. These paved roads are. Ah! Oh, he got destroyed. I. God. Wow, that went horribly wrong. So yeah, you gotta sneak up on that from behind. I mean, granted, I, I thought it would have been like a tank. I thought I would have taken a little bit of damage, but it just managed to get around the side. But that, that was brutal. Okay, so. I'm on it. New target sighted. First things first. Just try dodging me. We're getting the procs galore today. That vehicle must be stopped immediately. Shock trooper's dead. We can pick up vice. Medic! Attention all squads. Move out now. Fight this thing! I'm almost there! Work your magic! You hear me? Now I know she's not gonna catch up on it from there, but. Yeah, because it's going to have to go the long way around, I think, is it? Or it might be able to come through there, but we'll see how it goes anyway. Or... Hmm. I don't know if that would count. No, you know, we're going to leave it just to be safe for, for one more turn. My turn, okay? Yeah, we see him. Okay, that's good. I think I saw another one around here a minute ago. Enemy sighted. Yeah, there he is. He's dead in his next turn. Roger. This is completely unnecessary, but we're gonna do it anyway. Oh, we can attack from there. I suppose he's a scout. I'm not done yet. I'm so that's that. And... 
we're also going to call... Hmm, what do I want? We're going to call Edie. I could have... I suppose I could have used Alicia and scouted around a little bit more. Okay, so there's our other one. He's around D3 somewhere there. There's another one just around E3. Okay. So I have a plan. Oh, I forgot the reinforcements are here as well. Entering combat! But yeah, I have a plan. Enemy sighted! Now, attack the... So, let's see, what do we have? A scout, and a shock trooper. Good. That makes things a bit easier. Okay, so, on the left there, we actually have the transport. Should be easy enough to keep view and sneak up on it. I'm on it! Although Rosie's gonna be a little bit far away for the moment. Enemy sighted. We'll make the best of it, though. Here I come. She's doing next to no damage, but it's to be expected. I'm on it. There's still plenty of time for us to go down. Do some serious damage. I'm on it. And we get her back in cover. So what I'm hoping to do is I'm hoping now that that shock trooper can't go anywhere, that we can Moving out. ambush something else with Alicia. And that way... Try to well, I suppose the shock trooper can now. get wrecked as it is. Guys. We'll still take a little look around with Alicia, though. Don't give up now. She can't see anyone specifically. Uh, hopefully, no one can sneak up behind her because the, the tank is there, but it might be a bit far away. Anyway, we're on her. Ambassador, oh. the vehicle's taking damage. Just... It won't last long at this rate, sir. Make it last long enough. It just needs to get us to that harbor. As soon as the princess is on Federation land, we'll own this little country. Not happening. The vehicle's taking heavy damage. It won't be long now. So where is the... What have we got up here? So let's see. I want to see if that's an ace at all. No, it's just a regular shock trooper. Okay, so. My turn, okay? Let's take a look and see where it is. Okay, so, well, there it is. We found it. And it's pointing this way. Hostile sighted at 2 o'clock. No, can't get it. That doesn't matter though. That doesn't matter. Armored vehicle sighted. God, it's really far away. I'm on it. We can still make it. Uh oh, is she gonna get destroyed? No, she made it around. Don't even think of dodging. Undodgeable shot. Please hit. That 
didn't really do anything, but... Let's do this thing. Rosie probably won't make this. Oh, I really hope this isn't Let's do the this last thing. one we make. Ain't no stopping me. Strong willed. But well, Rosie didn't even get a chance to get it at all. Just try dodging me. Go down. I really hope this isn't the end. Go on, Edie. Get ready. Four. And Claudia took him out before he got a chance to do anything. Okay, we have to stop him I'm on it. this round. Enemy sighted. On you, Rosie. Go down. No pressure. Yeah, see the Edelweiss can't come down here. Stops there. Stops there. Although, I suppose technically we could have put the Edelweiss down here and blocked it to make it go around the long way. I'm on it. But that's irrelevant now. Because we're getting Princess Cordelia back. This way. And Rosie got it. Operation complete. Let's get her highness out of there. Your Highness, are you, you all right? I am unharmed. Oh, good. Being princess ain't all fancy dinners, huh? Gotta be hard carrying a whole country. She doesn't seem too happy to be free and unharmed. Can it, Rosie? That's the Princess of Gallia you're talking to. No, it's quite all right. She speaks the truth. As scion of the Valkyrie. It is my fate to live and die for Gallia's well-being. Are you sure that isn't just your excuse, Your Highness? What? If you label the status quo fate, you can run from the responsibility of changing it. Harsh words, Welkin. You too, Welkin. Have a little respect here. Every living thing in this world struggles to live and pass life on to a new generation. They use all the instincts and animal wisdom they can just to live that one day longer. It's a bit strange, isn't it? Seeing Largo be the... What do we call it? The respectful chain of command order one. Especially considering that what he went through with Welkin a couple of chapters back. That powerful animal will to live is... I think it's a beautiful part of nature. <sighs> Your Highness may be descended from Valkyra, and that may carry a burden. The old ways and traditions you follow may be important to uphold. But I hope that you won't throw away the will to live your own life because of them. That's enough, Welkin. Give it a rest. Go on, Largo, hit him. Perhaps it is as you say, and I have been running from responsibility unknowingly. It is indeed mine to consider my life's role within the Valkyrian bloodline. Y your Highness. I am most envious of your ability to speak your mind so frankly. That's why Squad 7 loves him. But time enough remains to consider my role by my own will. Thank you for your words, Lieutenant. Not at all. Uh, 
<laughs> wow. Even a princess's gut will wake up and say hi when it's empty. I... I am. Rumbling bellies are a clever bit of animal wisdom all humans share. True that. Alicia, have we got anything to eat? You bet. I brought some of the cinnamon rolls I baked this morning. Here you are, Your Highness. Thank you kindly. It's weird. You don't really picture a, a princess eating I have a not had bread such roll. bread before, but it is quite agreeable. <laughs> I'm glad. All right. Let's get Her Highness back to the capital. Well, whenever Alicia decides that the war is over and goes back to the bakery, you know, she can say she has the the princess's seal of approval on her cinnamon buns. Cinnamon rolls. Bones? Roll? Is there a difference, really? Let's see. So, a Midsummer Night incident? What do I... I keep saying a Midsummer Night night because of a Midsummer Night's dream. Anyway, the award ceremony. And so Princess Cordelia returned, safe through the efforts of Militia Squad 7. Its leader, Welkin Gunther, was celebrated as rescuer to the nation's sovereign and awarded the prestigious Gallian Medal of Honor. Good old Medal of Honor. Irene Kohler, on the Gallian front. Lieutenant Welkin Gunther, step forward. Sir! For excellence in valor and deed, you are hereby awarded this honor. Your Highness, please bestow the medal upon the young Lieutenant. Gladly. Congratulations, Lieutenant Gunther. Thank you, Your Highness. Though I have yet to reach an answer, your question drives me still. To understand my responsibility as Sovereign, and as a single human life. Your Highness. At least she's taking it seriously and she's actually considering it. Most people, especially when you think of the position that that, that these two people are in, they just say, yeah, okay, I'll think about it, and that's it. Oh, and know that one tradition already lies sundered by my will. I had the cooks add cinnamon rolls <laughs> to my daily breakfast. I guess Alicia made a good impression on her. Alicia will be happy to hear it. Lieutenant Gunther, you forget yourself. Shh. This guy annoys me. Fucking Prime Minister Borg. Not only does he look like a, like a, like a prick, he acts like a big fucking highborn, snooty ass, dick dastardly looking motherfucker. Sir, my apologies. The two of them were clearly talking candidly on her request. And I'm pretty sure she's With she this, him. today's ceremonies are ended. Highness, would you grace us with a word? Lieutenant Gunther, I hope your allegiance to Gallia stands firm evermore. I don't know where to look half the time. I'm looking at the screen, I'm looking at the text, I'm looking at my camera, I'm looking at my camera. Yes, Princess. Lieutenant Gunther, I am sorry. There is something more I have not told you. Really? Dun dun dun. Please, be safe. I wonder what that could be. So, final cutscene of a Midsummer Incident. I didn't say it incorrectly that time, but I almost did. Fears of a Patriot. Let's see, we're back with Gunter. Welkin, we? I'm coming in. We are, Falio Sure, Gunter. it's open. Ooh, is that it? Not bad, man. You sure made a name for yourself this time. It's quite the ornate medal. It was pure luck I was there. So have you seen the headlines? The ones that say nothing about the kidnapping? 
That reporter tells me Borg's the one pressuring the media into suppressing it. Even more reason to hate the guy. But why suppress it? If word got out about what happened, Galia's relationship with the Federation would suffer. We've got our hands full fending off the Empire. We can't afford a war on two fronts. So he has the whole thing covered up. I'll bet he goes on acting like it never happened. Wow. Welcome, this hurts. It's painfully obvious how shaky Galia's standing is. I know the world's history is an endless chain of big fish eating little fish. Both of us know the weak bow to the strong. It's history and it's nature. A minor nation like ours is an easy mark, even before you add the rift within our army. Welkin, no offense, but I hope nature's wrong this time. Uh, well, we all know who the nature expert is, so... I'm sure, if anything, that's gonna worry him more than anyone. I don't know what to tell you, Faldio. Chapter 10. Liberation of Thousand. So that's it. Chapter 9, A Midsummer Incident. I almost said it incorrectly again. Oh, wait a minute. Before we go any further. About decorations. Meeting certain conditions as you proceed through the game may earn you decorations. You can view any awards you've earned in the decorations tab. Open the Y button menu and choose the decorations tab to view a list of your awards or after meeting a set condition. You can go to the Audience Hall via the Headquarters tab, where Princess Cordelia will pres bleh, present them to you in person. Okay, so, there was a message there as well, if you didn't see it real quick while I skip by it, that uh, Princess Cordelia awaits us in the Audience Hall. Anyway, a Midsummer Night incident. Midsummer to <laughs> Thank God the na that name is over. Chapter 9 is complete. We'll move on to Chapter 10. The Liberation of Thousand, next time, on Dragon Ball Z.